Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here answering your questions today. Today's question is, what did I do with my MLB signing bonus when I got drafted? What did I buy? Did I waste my money on candy and ridiculous stuff? Um, or did I invest it all? Um, all that stuff. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. Um, okay, so when I got drafted, you get a check for your signing bonus pretty quickly. And um, I've had some experience. I've seen a lot of players do some really silly, silly things when they get signing bonuses. Um, you know, when most players are getting it, they're really young. And uh, some decide to buy things that just lose value really, really quickly, or they just throw it out, they just buy ridiculous stuff. Um, and so I would say I was, for most of my life, I never really had very much money. You know, my jobs before baseball were uh, dishwashing, um, worked at Roach Brothers bagging groceries. So it's never like I had a whole lot of money to just kind of waste. But all of a sudden, you get drafted, and um, you know, if you get drafted high, you get pretty big signing bonus. So let me tell you what, what I did with it. Some of these things were really silly. I'll tell you, don't ever do it. Now that I'm older, I look back and I'm like, what an idiot I was. What was I thinking? Um, some of the things were really smart for me as a, as a young person to do. So um, let's talk about the smart things. First thing is um, I invested my money. So invested in a bunch of different things, um, bonds, stock, mostly stocks. So invested in, in mostly stocks, mostly like large, blue chip companies, companies that um, probably everybody's heard of, like Apple, um, ExxonMobil, um, Coca-Cola, so like big companies that you all heard of, okay? Uh, I invested in those, I invested in some bonds, and I still have all those investments today. So I made those a long time ago. Um, I got drafted in 2006, so now it's been 12 years, and I still pretty much own all the stocks that I uh, purchased at that time. So really good investment. If I could go back again, I'd probably just invest all of my money in the stock market. However, I did get a little lucky because the stock market was actually at like all time highs when I got drafted and I didn't invest right away. And I got lucky. The market like crashed pretty soon after that. And I got to buy like, not at the very bottom, but kind of getting close to the bottom. So, um, got lucky with that. Okay. Um, I also bought a house for, um, well, kind of my family and myself. So I was 21 years old, ended up buying a house, and um, you know we lived in it for a while. And then when before I got married, I ended up selling that house and and moving in with my wife and getting a new house. So uh, invested in a house, which um, again the, the housing market at that time was kind of like at an all-time high too. And then anyone that was around, but then then it crashed, and um, now it's obviously back up again. So, uh, but again, I didn't you know. All the money that I put in the house was perfectly fine. So um, that was a pretty good investment, I guess. Um, now let's talk about some of the things that were stupid. They weren't investments. They were the opposite of investments. Um, but the stupid things that I bought. So I bought myself a car. Stupid idea, okay? I had a car that was not very old when I got drafted. Um, for some reason, I was like, yeah, you know, I've got a bunch of extra money. I'll buy a car. I bought a sports car. It was... Uh, ended up being like a huge headache. The thing was, I mean, it was a great car and it was fun to drive around, but um, ended up having a lot of issues with it. Ended up keeping it for like seven or eight years. So uh, after after a couple of years, I was like, what an idiot. Why did I spend my money on that stupid car? So I was like, okay, now I got to drive the thing for a long time until it stopped working. And literally after like seven, eight years, it was giving me so many issues. It was costing more money to keep bringing it to the shop that I uh, ended up getting rid of it. It was a Jaguar, and so uh, don't, um, well, I don't want to say don't buy a Jaguar, but man, did it give me like a lot of issues. It was a pain in the butt, okay? So stupid idea, don't buy stupid cars. Like just get a car, if I could go back again, I would just get a car that I knew was gonna run well. I'm not talking about buying like a $10,000 car, but just buying a normal car that will last me 10 years and that's it. That's what I should have done, okay? Um, and then the other thing I did was I bought my mom a car. And um, her car, she ended up keeping her car for a while, like probably like 10 years or so. So I guess it wasn't terrible. 
Um, again, not an investment. No car is an investment. They all depreciate and they all, you know, get rusted up and engines break and all that stuff. So um, again, not like a, a super smart investment at all, not an investment, but um, I don't know if you'd call it a waste of money. It was useful and she drove it for like 10 years or so. Um, so those are basically the main things that I bought. I bought two silly cars, um, ended up buying a house, which that house basically became the house I live in now. And so, uh, and then everything else got invested and the investments have done obviously well because I bought it really, crappy time in the market and the market now is at an all-time high so as long as it doesn't crash uh tomorrow we're still doing okay all right so my advice get drafted invest your money think about the long term which i did in, in many ways i did luckily i've always kind of been uh we've made videos about this before like i've always thought long term and so and when i got drafted i knew really nothing about any of this stuff like I kind of educated myself on it. I got interested in it actually. Player Jody Garrett, I don't know if you guys remember Jody Garrett. He's a smart player, went to Stanford, played in the big leagues for a while. Um, I got really in, in, interested in the stock market from him when I was in AAA. Um, I remember I walked into the clubhouse one day and he was reading a newspaper. This will kind of sound kind of silly. He was, reading a, he was reading a paper, I think he was reading like Wall Street Journal or something. And I sat by him, I was like, hey, what are you reading on? He's like, oh, I'm just looking at my stocks. I was like, oh yeah, stocks? Like, uh, you know, what do you got? I, I knew really not much about stocks. Like, I'd been invested at that point in some things, but I literally, I had a financial advisor and I just kind of like let them do what they wanted, which I don't advise doing. I think everyone should know what they're investing in, but I didn't, um, just because I'd never learned about it before. And I was like, oh yeah, stocks, yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's, I know all about stocks and everything. And I'm thinking, I'm in my head, I'm like, I don't know anything about stocks. So he's like explaining it to me and uh, like literally like two weeks later, we had a road trip in Vegas and back then like they just room you with whoever and they'd switch it up. So I get room with Jody and I uh, um, I get in the room, we, we get there on the plane and we have like an hour or two before the game, we have, before I have to go to the game. And I'm sitting in bed, like just laying there and he puts on a TV and he puts on CNBC and he's watching like Fast Money is the show that it was called. And I was like, Fast Money, what's this? He's like, oh, it's about the stock market and stock stuff and I'm watching it. And then like I got hooked and then I became like super in interested in stocks. And since that time I've actually, you know, I still have a financial advisor that invests in the market for me, but then I ended up doing a lot of my own investments, um, which is fun, interesting, makes you really pay attention and follow it and know what you're investing in because you're doing it and no one else is. Um, so I would always encourage people to, to get interested in that and to invest their money. I think it's a really good idea, um, obviously. And so, yeah, that's it. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Um, in the description box below, we've got a couple things down there. We've got a deal going on plate crate. If you click the link, type in Antonelli, get 50% off your first plate crate. We've got uh, a link to our Patreon page where you can help support the channel. Um, we have, if you want these hats, I keep getting asked about it. Excuse me, just go to our website, antonellibaseball.com, and you can buy them right on there, okay? So I got them up there, and that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.